everybody at home on old guy hi-fi channel hope everyone's doing well today today's going to be a quick video overview of a really neat product the duke audio vu3 pro and it is an amplifier slash speaker switcher so sit back relax and we're going to play with vu meters old guy hi-fi we two wisdom lives in every Never lie. Songs from days gone passing by. Echoes from a distance. So the Duke Audio VU3 Pro is simply a two-in, two-out amplifier speaker selector switcher that allows you to connect multiple amplifiers, multiple pairs of speakers, and toggle back and forth in whatever combination you want, and you don't have to get up and play Cable Olympics and everything else. It is really nice. It'll handle 350 watts of power incoming. Um, it does have level matching. So let's say you have one amplifier and two pairs of speakers, and that pair of speakers, one pair of speakers is 3 dB more efficient than the other. Well, we would perceive that as a doubling of volume. Now we can level match and we can make apples to apples comparison. Typically the way I used it was two amplifiers and one pair of speakers. And again, one amplifier might have a little more gain than the other and I could level match and then I could make a fair apples to apples comparison. So that's nice. Now, as a device, one of the things I found interesting about it was, is it has a five, volt, five amp large current relay in it. So let's say a speaker blows and you get dead short. Well, that dead short won't get past this to your amplifier. And so it'll protect your amplifier. It also has um, load resistors built in. Now, that's important to me lately because I've got a number of tube amplifiers in for review. And tube amplifiers, especially class A tube amplifiers, absolutely hate it when they're turned on and there's no load connected to their speaker terminals. Well, the cool thing about this is once this is connected to the amplifier, even if there's no speaker connected to this, it presents the appropriate load to the amplifier so that those tube amplifiers stay stable and happy and everything is copacetic. So I thought that was kind of cool. Neat VU meters. There's 35 uh, backlit colors. There are five levels of brightness and you can adjust them all from the remote control. The front panel, it's a nice unit. It's well constructed. It's all solid aluminum, uh, aluminum case, solid aluminum faceplate. Um, it, the level matching controls are here. This is the dial to allow you to change colors on your, on your VU meters if you want to and you can tune and go whatever color you want to. And then your input selector is down here. Also, all of those functions are duplicated on the remote control. Now on the back side, it's nice. And it's a nice improvement over the previous model is there's great spacing between the banana plugs, the speaker terminals and amplifier inputs and outputs. It does run on five volts, but it does not come with a power supply. You need to get yourself a good five volt two amp power supply for this to run properly and it's USB-C in. And again, it's a very rugged, very well constructed unit. And let me see if I can show you up a little bit closer on the VU meters. They're scaled in both watts and decibels. And let's talk about that real quick. So I did a video recently with a little single-ended class A tube amplifier where I showed one of the meters here and I was showing it at about one watt, a little over one watt, and then I had an SPL meter and I was showing that we were hitting peaks in the upper 70s, almost 80 dB, which is quite loud. So the fun thing is when you're looking at it with your system, you can see that actually we don't use as much watts as we think we do. I would say if we're listening consistently in the you know upper 60s into the maybe the upper 70s, maybe hitting peaks of 80, you're only using a couple of three watts, which I think is, it's really fascinating. We don't use as many watts as we think we do. So what does VU stand for? VU stands for volume unit, and it comes from way back in the day in radio broadcast, back in the 30s and 40s when uh, live radio broadcasts were all the rage. There was no TV. So you had the Bob Hope show and the Bing Crosby show and those kinds of things. And you'd have a number of microphones on stage for the various entertainers. And maybe somebody had a real big booming voice and someone had a less, you know, a quieter voice. Well, the engineers using a VU meter could level match the microphone so that everybody sounded the same volume and the big loud voice wasn't overdriving all of the electronics and causing distortion. And that's, it's really cool. So typically you want to hit around zero dB most VU meters are scaled from minus 20 dB to plus 3 dB with 0 dB being the equivalent of 1.23 volts. Now that's the right amount of voltage for tape and things like that. So as we got further along, when we got into recording studios and we were recording on magnetic tape, again, you wanted to keep those peaks right around 0 dB so you didn't oversaturate the tape and cause it to distort. So you got a good clean signal. And if many of you might remember the later years of the cassette decks, on the VU meters, 
even whether they're LED or they were analog like this, the zero dB mark also had a little Dolby symbol over top of it. And that was where you wanted to set your peaks so that Dolby would be the most effective for noise reduction. So it's a really neat thing. Um, I found it really fun. And again, being able to sit back in my chair and toggle back and forth between, you know, two amps and one pair of speakers, it, was, it, it actually helped me out a great deal. And again, I think at 160 bucks, it's a really cool piece. So that's the Duke Audio VU3 Pro. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you'd be willing to give me a like and a subscribe. And if you wish to join the channel, there will be a membership link in the pinned comment and in the video description. There will be an affiliate link for this. If you're considering purchasing one, I would appreciate it. If you bought it through the affiliate link, it doesn't affect your price or your ability to return a product you're not satisfied with. But that small commission does help the channel when I'm buying lights and new cameras and stuff like that. So I do appreciate that. There are other affiliate links in the video description. There's my playlist there. Please comment. Let me know what you think. Do you love VU meters? I mean, this is a great way to add them to either the vintage system, new system, doesn't really matter. Oh, one note real quick. When you connect an amplifier to it without a speaker, the VU meters will not work. You actually have to have an amp and speakers connected to it at the same time for the meters to actually move. So just a note on that. Anyway, please like, please subscribe, please comment. Um, if you want to, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm Ed Homewood, this is the Old Guy Hi-Fi channel, saying now it's your turn to sit back in your easy chair and toggle back and forth between all of those amplifiers and speakers that you have in your room and watch the meters dance. Thank you so much for your time, I'm grateful for it. Have a wonderful day. Song.